that just adjust to my channel so the next clip is probably going to be a little bit confusing because i originally was going to put that clip in the end of my vlog for the weekend but because i just ended up talking for a long time that's not gonna happen so uh, this is the intro mm -hmm. My face is dry. You don't care how it hurts. Okay, listen. Um, I did not finish counting, like straightening out my money because girls start walking in the locker room and I don't really like to do too much showing my money in the locker room when there's people around. Mostly because Bitches, girls be having a bad night <laughs> and you just don't want somebody to try to plot on you because they think you made a lot of money versus what they made. I really don't want to be in that situation because we both got to walk to the same place and I'll be damned if you pull a pistol out on me, love, because you only made $85. So I was like, a lot of people came. So I just band this up and then put the rest of my money in my book bag. So it's not going to really be a money count more so of a like recap of what happened while i straighten out the rest of this money and then when i start counting it i'm gonna get off camera because i feel like i did a lot of money counts and y'all might be tired of me always ending the video with money count so not to say you know i'm gonna not do money counts it's just that i don't want y'all to get tired of me you know what i'm saying i'm i'm just not getting a little bit of you know skin. let me go turn my light on because it looks a little dark i know i have a ring light right here but that bitch be making me sweat so we can turn that on i wish you were i'm a little yellow am i just washed my face y'all so please don't say nothing about my face looking ashy so basically um life update first i moved into my apartment this thursday that's why i didn't go to the club on thursday and that's why i did not um really do anything as far as vlogging or i didn't even vlog my process because it was just too it was too much and i was on a time constraint because the lady was trying to charge me like over six hundred dollars to move because she was like it's gonna take like four hours and this that and the third and i was like i really don't want to do all that and blah 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 so i was helping them move i was paying them but i was still helping them move because at the end of the day girl i'm not paying all that money i'm not doing that so yes i'm now in a new apartment i'm going to be doing a story time it'll probably be the next video y'all get because friday saturday and sunday is probably going to be one big vlog because i never even did another introduction for Sunday because I slept all the way until 9.50 p.m. Sunday. And just everything I had going on, this is the powders left. Everything I had going on just went to shambles love. But nevertheless, um, I hope y'all still enjoy this video. So let me tell y'all, I just be, me, I'm taking a leap of faith trying to do this full-time stripper you know because i if y'all have are new to my channel y'all probably don't understand why i'm saying full-time stripper some of y'all probably like, i thought you already was a full-time stripper no love i have not been a full-time stripper in almost two years i've always had a full-time job and i've been a part-time stripper meaning i will only work on fridays and saturdays sometimes either or you know every once in a while like i've had two different jobs since i've been a part-time stripper I was working at a call center as a pharmacy assistant when um, I first moved back. Well, not first, first moved back, but when I moved back home from Miami, Florida, I was stripping full time then. That was 2019. Then I had started working as a pharmacy assistant and I was making a little bit of change. $12 an hour, which was, I thought was a lot at the time, but it really was not. Um, I ended up getting my first apartment off of that job and me stripping. So that's how I ended up landing that job. Um, I mean, end up landing my first apartment. Then after that, um, I went into this warehouse job with my auntie and I started, I was still at $12 but they had a raise like chart where after a certain amount you i mean after a certain time you get a raise after another time you get a raise so 
essentially that all changed up because of COVID. So they start upping the raises. So I ended up getting to like 17.25 in a year and a half when I was only, I wasn't even supposed to get to 17.25 into my like second or third year working there. It, it was really crazy. So boom, that happens. I work in there, I'm making good money, but I'm still like, I, I like money. So I'm working, the pandemic happened. So I was only working at that job until the world opened back up. And that was like June, well, Florida opened back up. That was June, 2020. So from there, June, 2020, the very first weekend, Florida opened back up with the strip clubs. I had, I had been in the strip club every single weekend. I may have to take like one weekend off or something like that. I had got sick when uh, COVID first, first, first came out. I didn't tell anybody, but I caught COVID. Though soon as they announced that COVID was something, I caught COVID, literally Ca caught COVID. And I told absolutely nobody, but I couldn't even, I didn't have to tell nobody because I was not around anybody ever. Like I couldn't even get out of bed. Like I have a very weak immune system already. So when it was like saying people who are asthmatic are very susceptible to um, catching COVID-19, that is so true because I'm, I'm very asthmatic and um, I caught it. Like as <laughs> soon as it hit Florida, I was one of the first cases. And for a whole week straight, I could not get out of bed. Like I was literally not joking. I was crawling to my kitchen every morning to get up, like to, um, I will have to hold the wall all type of shit just to get up to like make myself soup or you know something to eat or whatever and then the same thing with the bathroom but i stayed in the one bedroom one bath so it was really small thank god i didn't have to go far but yeah so after i caught COVID, i i lost a lot of time and a lot of money because i wasn't able to go to my regular job because i was <laughs> stricken um from there I was like, I'm not ever going to do that again because I was just working that job and I had no, they weren't paying us at the time when you caught COVID because so, it was so new. So I was out of work almost two weeks um, and I did not get paid for any of that. No, I was out of work for a month, like a month. They tried to keep it to like two months and they did not pay me not $1. And I almost like, this is before I was really saving my money for real literally almost like lost everything I was working for. So I said, I'm never gonna, no. I'm never gonna let that shit happen to me again. So this is what it looks like. It may be $300. Dude, these are new fresh bills. So I ended up, when the world opened back up, I said, I'm gonna work um, on the weekends. I'm gonna strip on the weekends because the weekends are the better days anyways. So I'm gonna ship on the weekends and I'm gonna go to my regular job on the weekdays. I work five days a week and I'm off too. So we're gonna just work every single day. And I worked every single day. It's up like a couple that y'all know I would say, oh, I'm not gonna go to work tonight. I'm a little tired, I'm exhausted or whatever. I wouldn't, you know, every once in a while. But if I wasn't working seven days a week, I was always working six days a week. Like even, I, had, I used to not work, like my period landed on the weekend. It would come on that Friday or Saturday or that Thursday even, I wouldn't go to the club that weekend. But for the most part, I work, you would say, if you take away every day I could not work after we, the club opened up, it'd probably be like maybe three weeks, maybe a month at the most, most, dang braces, you got me talking crazy. You know, at the most, maybe 11 months is how much, I mean, at the least a full 11 months, I worked every single day and so i was i was at the point where i saved up you know i met my my first goal i put aside for my savings account i met that first goal created a second goal and i'm really close to it it's very feasible but the thing about it is i started to get burned out and a lot of people were saying, you need to pick, you need to pick because you're gonna end up getting um, exhausted. And I was getting exhausted. But the thing about it is I wanted to hold on to that job because I'm very, I, I like money, you know what I'm saying? And so I was like, I can do it, I can do it. But there'll be days I'm at literally at the club 
about to follow suit because I met that other job was a work to completion. So there's times I'm doing 11 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts, back to back to back for five days. And then I wake up, start my day very early on Friday because at the club, yeah, your shift might start at 9, 10, but your day start at 9, 10 a.m. You know, you gotta get stuff done. You gotta be in preparation for the club because before you know it, it'll be eight o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? So there'll be times where I wouldn't even get like maybe four hours of sleep and I still would go to the club and then I would go to the after hours and then I'd go to sleep like six, no, the club was six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning and I would be back up and woke at 12 Saturday. Do the same thing, get home by seven, maybe eight o'clock in the morning after counting my money and then I would have to, you know, go to work that day and like leave for work like at 4 p.m. So I would get up like maybe 12 sometimes i would sleep all the way into like 30 minutes before i had to clock in and i'd be rushing the world so i was like i gotta pick and to me at the time when i was weighing my options i was like i would rather strip because i used to strip full time i've already done it before my first year of dancing i did not have yes i had other jobs but th they were not full-time jobs so i was in the club almost every single day like i would get off work and go to the club. I would get off from the club, go home, and I would not have to go back to work for like seven more days because that was so part-time. So I would just go to the club every single night, like with no problem, no hesitation. And so I'm like, I, I have done it before, you know what I'm saying? So let's try to do it again. And that's when I said, I'm, just, I'm gonna pick the club because at the end of the day, when I have really good weekends, I'm making like, y'all seen, in three days I can make over $2,000. At, at my regular job, it takes me two weeks to barely get $2,000 after taxes. There's been weeks where I work 40 hours. Well, this is back when I was like making $13, $14. But I would work 40 plus hours and my check after taxes would be like $1,100, $1,200. And I'm like, bro, that's what, 10 days of work for not even my weekend. Like, you know, they're slow weekends, of course, but now I'm making $1,500 in two days, $1,800 in three days, you know, $2,000 in three days. Like, bro, I cannot keep killing myself. I would rather go ahead. I'm sorry I'm making this video so long and rambly, but a lot of y'all did ask, like, so I might just make this part, um, it's on video because this is 12 minutes what the freak so basically i'm i'm just gonna go ahead and just like t take a leap of faith is basically what i was trying to say like if i start to give myself a month really i could give myself a year because that's how much money i saved up compared to how many bills i have i can stay out of work and just strip but see, I would never run out of money because I'm still making money at, all, over the weekend. So, but I said, I'm gonna give myself a month. That's four weekends, four weeks, and try to work weekdays and weekends to see how much money I can make in a, you know, a week and give myself a schedule that works for me as a dancer and see if it's worth it. If it's not worth it, if I feel like I'm losing money, if I'm getting behind on bills and stuff like that, then go ahead and just get another job. It's not every time i drive somewhere it's always a now hiring sign so i'm at the point where i don't even care if it's a little cute little part-time job you know some, something 14 15 dollars an hour that's cute you know i can do that and still you know work part-time there and, and strip you know in script you know and stuff like that so you know what i'm saying that's just kind of the goal right now but nevertheless, we still in the, this is week one because it's only the first week of August of the experiment, technically week two because I came home last week from Mexico, but I only ended up working after hours Friday and I worked Wednesday and Thursday when I got home. So um, I think I made $500 for those three days. I, well, what is it called? Retention wise, 300 well 200 because i made 100 and some change on wednesday 100 and some change on thursday both those days i used the change to pay for house for the next day so i retained 100 from wednesday 100 from thursday and then i didn't go to work friday i overslept and then saturday i ended up only going to after hours and i made like 300 dollars. so i deposited 500 dollars on that monday but this is my first actual 
like okay weekend of august so we're starting here so far the previous two days i've already made over a thousand dollars which it will be in the now previous vlog <laughs> previous vlog but yeah and um i'm gonna cut this make an intro for this and then make the outro for the other video okay hold on so i hope everybody enjoyed my video if you do have any questions comments or concerns about what i'm saying please you know drop a comment in the comment section subscribe hit the, the bell and then if you need any advice any list of black clubs in tampa inbox me on my stripper instagram i cannot tell y'all um, tell y'all that enough do not write me on my personal page because nine times out of ten instagram is going to default your message so check the description box and it's there request my page still write me because i don't go through my requests weekly at all but i do go through all my messages in that stripper instagram solely so that you guys don't be waiting around so Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I love y'all so much. And like I always say, until next time, Jules and Gems, peace.